Hey, uh, this is a video that I've wanted to do. This is movies I don't like. But in order for one to count on this list, it has to be one that I don't have. Or one that I actually have. Well, maybe. So, shall we get started? These are the films that I don't like. Some of these are a bit overrated. The first one that I thought was going to be good because I remembered watching it a few years ago in school. You know, I remember sort of liking it when it was on TV. And, you know, I, visually it was absolutely amazing. And a decent cast, Happy Feet. This film was just... I thought I would like it, to be honest, but it was so cheesy, and the story, although visually, you know, visually, it's not quite as good as I was hoping for, it doesn't look quite as good as I remember, and also, I was hoping that this wasn't motion capture, I was hoping that this was proper animation, but I looked behind the scenes of this, at the special features, and... You know, it turns out uh, this um, was done with motion capture. So disappointing. And it's so cheesy with all the birds singing and, you know, with uh, even Robin Williams. Care. You know, I didn't really, I can't judge Robin Williams. Uh, I'm not going to judge him. Uh, Happy Feet, I could only watch maybe 10 minutes of it before turning it off. Um, at some point I might keep watching it, but... And one. Another one, and I think a lot of people will agree with this one. It's the 99... This one's sort of my brother's, but I don't think he'll mind me showing it. It's Godzilla. The original from 1998. This, I could only watch a little bit of it. Some say it's laughably bad, but I just find it boring. You know, it just... Well, it wasn't... Maybe not boring, but it was a bit stupid. And with Matthew Broderick's character... Well, I do like that line. Uh, Frantopulous. It's Frantopulous. I, I like that line. But other than that, there's nothing that I really remember? There's not much I remember about it. And one that I didn't watch too much of. You know, I, did, I sort of didn't like what was happening. You know, some people call it a very underrated underrated animated film. I might consider it, consider it overrated. And it's Serps Up. Yeah, this was a documentary style thing. A bit like, uh, The Office. But, uh, you know, I didn't... A lot of people like The Office as well. But I prefer extras, to be honest. It, this was a bit... This was... It had some very good moments. Don't get me wrong, it's not that bad. It has, it has its great moments, but I just can't listen to it all. It's... Well, some of it's boring. Maybe I'll change my mind about the office. And one, which uh, I didn't watch too much of, that was Dumb and Dumber. There was only, uh, again, uh, some people like it, some people don't, but. This is the uncut version, though. I might like the original a bit better, but uh, but don't get me wrong. This is the only uncut thing that's in my collection, so I'm sort of glad I have this. But this was sort of disappointing. You know, the only joke that was really that memorable to me was I just couldn't get through it. The only joke that was really that memorable is that scene where they're, you know, your man's peeing into the glass and he gives it to the policeman, something like that. 
and one. Uh, this one I actually, this one I actually didn't mind. This one I sort of liked, but I just didn't watch all of it for some for some reason. I, I was just lazy. I couldn't be bothered. Uh, Transformers. I didn't mind this film. You know that's that's an underrated. Well, not an underrated one. Some do like this, but not the sequels. And I can really, t I can tolerate this one. I have to say. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. I don't have too much. No, I have a few, a few minutes left. Anyway, The Incredible Hulk. This one's sort of my brother's. Um, you know, this one was so boring as well. You know, a lot of. I've heard someone say Edward Norton is a great actor, but I didn't. I didn't find him that great in this. Uh, visually, um, it would look good on blu on Blu-ray, but it doesn't it doesn't look good on this uh, to me. Yeah, maybe that's the reason why um, I don't like some of these films because it's DVD format. It's not, you know, they're cheap. D they're very cheap DVDs. They're not the new ones. Um, let's see. What else in here do I not like? Hmm. I don't think I have a least favorite movie of all time, to be honest. Um, well, to be honest, looking on the bright side, all of these on the top shelf are good. Oh! There is one. I, uh... Maybe this is my least favorite. I remember watching... I remember watching these in school, and... You know, buying these and all, but I don't really like to. Um, I like, I love the. Uh, you know, these movies aren't too bad. The Diary for Wimpy Kids. I love the books. I love the books, but these they just don't catch capture the spirit. I didn't even go. I didn't even go and see the Long Haul. No. Uh, I think the long haul was sort of a box office bomb. The thing is, the, the long haul, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen much of it, but so far it's maybe my least favorite of the Diary of Wimpy Kids. You know, it's just, Diary of Wimpy Kids, the long haul is my favorite of the Diary of Wimpy Kids books. But the long haul, it's just, it's nowhere near as funny as the book. Even some of the acting is, you know, Greg as a character in this. You know, in the books he was very interesting, but in this he was just dull. And I could go on and on about this. Roderick Rules. For a while I didn't know there was a Roderick Rules film. And I wasn't blown away by the movie. Roderick, Roderick Rules. Um, but I think that's them all. Um, one which isn't really my favorite is one I rewatched recently, and one I wasn't the biggest fan of was Johnny English, but that's not really saying much. And Gangster Granny, that one was, uh, looking back, it was sort of hit and miss. But, hope you enjoy this video. Even though it's uh, a little, not a bit darker, but a bit more depressing than my normal videos. Uh, hope you enjoyed.